Welcome back to the Vue.js Vuex series. This is the last video of this series. I hope you already learned a lot. In this video, I just want to show you two additional tiny tweaks or things to know to keep in mind or free actually. The first one, if you haven't found it already, it always was in the video description though, is the official documentation. Well, it's not that hard to find if you Google for Vuex, it's the second result here. It's vuex.vuechess.org. Here you can dive even deeper and learn some additional things about Vuex. But the main concept, of course, is the one I showed you in the last videos. Now, another very useful thing when we're in the browser right now are the Vue developer tools. If you Google for them, you should, you should find a Chrome Page, and I'm talking about the Chrome browser there. I don't even know if it also exists for other browsers. And there you can add the Vue Dev Tools as an extension to the Chrome browser. Now, I already got them added. And what they allow you to do is, if you open them in your developer tool, and then Vue, you for one get the normal tools showing you the components on your page app registration and registrations with the values used there. So that's nice. But you also got that Vuex tab. And the cool thing is, watch what happens if I click on register. You see? You see the commit here. If I click on register again, you see another commit. And now if you click on an older one, it jumps back to that state. So you can time travel through your list of states to debug your application and quickly see how that application looked like at another point of time. You also see the payload of each commit and so on. See the state of the commit and a great tool to dive deeper. You can also, if you don't want to jump back temporarily but re reset your app, simply click revert and you're back to that state or you reverted that state I should say. So if I revert that state, I'm back to the state before. If I unregister and I revert that, I'm back to that state. So this is another great tool for debugging your application. The last thing I wanted to show you is, if you have a look at the app, at the store.js file. This is not a complex app, but the store.js file is already not very big, but it has a lot of code in it. Well, you can split it up and you will see this in bigger projects. There you typically create a new folder, which you may name store for example, could also name it Vuex. And I will move my store.js file in there, that did not really shorten the file though. But I will also create some other files here. One for the getters, one for the mutations, and one for, you guessed it, the actions. Now with these extra files, what I do is, in the actions file, for example, here, first of all, I export something, a default object, and then I will go to my store.js file to my actions and simply copy that method or all the methods I have there and put them as methods into this object I'm exporting in this file. And then I can simply go into the store.js file and import actions from my actions file, this actions object. And I simply assign it as a value to my actions property done there or use ES6 to automatically assign it since it has the same name. Now I will do the same for the mutations. So I will grab the whole mutations object here actually. Go to the mutations.js file, export the default object here too, the object I just grabbed and go to the store.js file to now import the mutations there and I will assign them to the mutations property or again use ES6 since the name is the same. And I'll do the same for the getters, export the default object, that one here, import the getters in the store.js file and assign them here again using ES6 as a shortcut. And with that the store.js file is much leaner. Now the app would be broken though because I also moved the store.js file. So make sure to adjust the import in the main.js file too. And with that if I save this and go to the application, reload it, 
looks like it's working again. But now the store.js file is leaner and I outsource this into different files, mutations, getters, and so on. And with that, you should be set to use Vuex and really improve your applications with that. I hope to see you in other videos. Have a great day. Bye.